Hi everyone, I'm super excited to sit down and film this specific video because this is a full face of Bare Minerals. I don't want to say Bare Minerals is an underrated makeup brand because it is probably one of our top sellers in Ulta, but I would say it's underrepresented maybe in the beauty community on YouTube and I think that every single item that I've ever tried from Bare Minerals is like a top-notch product and if I had to create a full face of my favorite makeup products of all time Bare Minerals would be in that full face for sure. So I'm really excited to be filming this makeup video today. For starters I have three of their complexion products. They do have their very very popular powder foundation I don't own that and I don't plan on owning it. No particular reason, I just don't think that I would enjoy it. They make the Bare Minerals Bare Pro, which is a very full coverage foundation. They also make the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is kind of like their version of a tinted moisturizer, but different from other tinted moisturizers, I feel like because this is a tinted gel cream, this is really awesome for people with oily skin. And then they also have their foundation sticks. Their foundation sticks are a sort of medium coverage I would say and they are a more hydrating formula I think people with oily skin probably wouldn't like it much but people with dry skin I think would like it a lot and I think that applying a stick foundation kind of all over really quick and blending it out it's you know a great on-the-go product all three of these products perform really well but my all-time favorite is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro in terms of full coverage foundations this is the thinnest, most beautiful full coverage foundation that I own. It goes on like a dream. It's so long wearing. It does an amazing job on my oily skin and maintains a sort of matte satin finish all day. I am using the shade 18 Pecan. This shade is good for me all winter usually. I have been getting a little bit of sun so I hope that it's not too far off. But if you are a bit darker than I am, my summertime shade is 21 Sable. And I do go through a transition where I will mix the two shades. But the foundation, it just blends into the skin so nicely. And it is so thin. It is probably my thinnest full coverage foundation. And with that being said, it's my thinnest full coverage foundation that dries to be a more like matte satin formula. I feel like once I get into more full coverage foundations that are thin, they kind of end up drying a little bit more dewy, which isn't necessarily bad. I love that look, but it doesn't end up lasting the longest on me. And this one just lasts so long. For my concealer, I have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This one is super nice if you're looking for something that's really nice, thin, hydrating, but offers a nice amount of coverage. This type of formula from a concealer is actually like one of my favorites just because of how lightweight it ends up feeling on the skin. And just like the foundation, it's very thin, but the difference between this one and the foundation, I would say, is the finish. The finish of the Complete Coverage Serum Concealer is a little bit more dewy, which I kind of love that. I kind of love the combination of the more matte finish foundation and the dewy concealer. I feel like they kind of work really well together. And I especially love a dewy look underneath the eyes. To set my skin, I'm using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder. I am not quite sure how I feel about this powder. I kind of wish that I owned it in the illuminizing version just because I find this specific one, the original, to be a little bit drying and kind of make my skin look like it's dry. And although I'm oily, I do like the dew. So I'm just applying a really thin layer. I love this Morphe M500 brush because it allows me to apply just like a really light, light amount of powder. But see, like, even with me applying just like the smallest amount of powder, see how matte that made my skin? I just don't think I love that. It's just not one of my favorites, but I feel like this lighter application of it is gonna help in the long run 
because I feel like when I like try and bake with it or something like oh my god no don't even try doing that because it's just nuts for eyeshadow bare minerals has these really adorable six pan eyeshadow palettes this is the gen nude latte eyeshadow palette this one obviously is the very warm tone one I would just probably change out that like gold shade and maybe for like another matte shade or something but other than that the palette is super adorable it's also not terribly expensive I want to say the palette Palette is like $26 or something. They have four different styles of it, at least at Ulta, and I usually recommend them to people who want just like their everyday eyeshadow palette, just like a easy, like you can see the looks that you can create using it. You don't have to get like too creative. You just kind of have everything that you need all in one place. So I'm going to go in with Solstice with my little blending brush. And it also comes with a really nice size mirror. I can see my whole face in it. So that makes it really, really easy for traveling or maybe you just do your makeup at like different areas of the house. I do that. I find myself doing my makeup and like 10 different areas of my house and my room. I also didn't apply primer, so you can see it's just blending and, and looking beautiful on its own. With a smaller blending brush, I'm gonna take the shade Spirit right there. It's a really deep, chocolatey, warm tone brown. And I'm just focusing it in the crease and that outer corner. All my eyeshadow looks end up looking the exact same, but I feel like for these full face videos it's important to kind of keep some consistency with the looks because when I shop for like makeup brands, I kind of look at like what is going to be my holy grail from this brand. So I want to use products and create looks that I know that I would get like the most use out of. So, I don't know. Hopefully you guys feel the same. I'm always curious to know, like, if you guys will ever get sick of, like, me literally doing the same look in every single video. But I talked to some of my, like, subscriber pals, my, my friends, and they were saying that basically, like, they usually watch beauty YouTubers for the YouTuber themselves because they probably have a similar style to them. They like the products that they recommend and stuff like that, so. I'm going to take some of this fringe shade. I feel like this is a pretty, I don't know, it looks basic, but it's a little unique. It's almost like a shimmery khaki. And I'm going to apply it right over here, like on the actual eyelid and kind of blend it into the outer corner. Oh, it ends up looking a little bit like a muted gold. I hope you guys are able to tell just like how pigmented these are. Really, really nice quality eyeshadows. I'm just sort of mixing the two crease shades that I used and blending in that little piece. Oh, this eye look is coming out so nice. And just on that same brush, I'm going to go in with Destiny. And I'm just kind of applying it on the rest of the eyelid, more focused on the inner corner. Oh no, you know what I would replace this gold with? I would replace it with a brow bone shade. Like... A nice satin brow bone shade. I'm going to dip my brush, my little one, into Solstice and really tap it off and then lightly carry it on the lower lash line. I'm dipping into Spirit, that really deep shade, and I'm going to do a little liner. So I've actually never used this mascara before. This is the Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mascara. It is a mega volume mineral based mascara. This is my very first time using it. However, we do sell quite a few of these and I believe it's Bare Minerals best selling mascara and my mom really loves it. And she also has really sensitive eyes. So apparently this one doesn't really irritate her eyes. I feel like I'm having to build it up quite a bit, a little bit more than I thought I would, but at least it's not looking clumpy. What do we think of the lashes? I quite like them. I feel like it really added a lot of volume to my lashes, but they still look fluttery. Like, they look really, really good. So this bronzer scares me a little bit. This is the all-over face color in the shade Warmth. 
and I'm really going to be so careful with it. Um, whatever is in that cap, I feel is like the only amount of bronzer that I need, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques light layer powder brush to apply it so I can get a really light wash of it, and I'm tr going to try and go in with like a really, really light hand because this bronzer is intense. I got it free at work for doing like a bare minerals training. And the first time I used it, I like completely ruined my makeup because I am a very generous user of bronzer. Okay, I feel like I do, I feel like I do need a little bit more. Just, I don't know. I don't wanna like overdo it. But I'm a really generous user of bronzer and this was just like, so pigmented and like I think because it's a loose formula it is just like way more pigmented than I'm used to okay I haven't applied it this light before but I actually really like how it looks when it's really light like this uh, I think the color is really good I just I love the look of bronzer and I don't like to be light-handed with it I love how the makeup looks though. I swear Bare Minerals just looks so good. Like the quality of the products is just amazing. So I do like the look of highlighter underneath blush and the two blushes that I have from Bare Minerals are matte. So I especially love the look of a highlighter under a matte blush. So the highlighter that I have here today is the Endless Glow Highlighter in the shade Free. I actually specifically bought this highlighter for this video because I knew I wanted to film the video but I didn't have a highlighter from them. And for the 21 Days of Beauty, they did have this highlighter on sale. So it was a good time for me to pick it up. But this highlighter goes on really soft and smooth. It's just like a basic highlighter though. I don't really have anything else to say about it. I have two of the Bare Minerals Gen Nude blushes. I would say these are definitely in my like top three blush formulas. I think that they're like a really creamy powder blush and it's so nice. I have the shade Call My Blush which is a really cute pink and then I have Let's Go Nude which is like a nude, like a pinky brown nude, like maybe a peachy brown nude. So that's really cute um, and it works really well with my skin tone. So I'm gonna go with this blush today and they do have a really wide range of shades for this blush formula and I feel like anyone can find a good shade in this formula. That is one thing about Bare Minerals is I feel like they do the shade range really well. They have a large shade range in their complexion products and their blushes go really, really deep. So that's really nice. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm going to tone down the blush on my nose. It's just a little too much. I like Okay, that's better. For my lips, the Bare Minerals Gen Nude On Point Lip Liner is definitely in my top three liner picks. I am so in love with this lip liner and I've used quite a bit of it. It's usually much longer when you buy it new, but it's like my perfect pinky brown nude lip liner. So I really extra love it. This would be like the look I'd wear on my wedding day. I'm ready to get married right now. <laughs> a lot of the times I will just use this lip liner and like that's it on my lips, but I do have a liquid lipstick. I believe this is a permanent shade, but I did get it in one of their holiday kits last year, but it is a really nice little pinky brown nude moment. It is in the shade Friendship. What I like about this is one, it smells like chocolate. It smells like fudge. Like, it smells like chocolate milk. That's what it smells like. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mmm, it just smells so good. What I like about this formula of matte lip is that it's very moussey, so it is very comfortable. I hate a liquid matte lip that dries. Like, I fucking hate it. So I'm gonna apply this. It 
It looks exactly like the lip liner, basically, and we all know I have a type. So this is probably one of my favorite full face makeup looks I've done. I just feel like everything is so me. I genuinely love Bare Minerals so much and 90% of what's on my face right now I actually wear like on a daily basis. This mascara is killing it by the way. Like I'm probably going to continue wearing it. And honestly the way that I use the bronzer today, it makes it look so beautiful. So... I'll probably continue using the bronzer as well. Final verdict on the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil though. I actually quite like the look of it when it's used so lightly. I think that's also something to note. If you have dry skin, I would probably say the fuck away from this powder because I have really oily skin and it looks really nice on me right now, but it's like so super matte. And the fact that I only had to use the tiniest amount of it to make it look like this, is like alarming for someone with dry skin. So I would consider to stay away from it if you have dry skin, but for my oily skin, it looks quite nice. I'm in love with how this looks on me currently. I think it looks so good. I'm really excited to see what you guys think about this look and let me know if any of the products caught your eye. So yeah, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching me, hanging out with me, joining me in today's video. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully I see you next time.